Gad friends, what is going on? We are done with work today. We had to run out and go do a chore. And uh, we are we're planning a fun weekend full of bike maintenance, friends. Because guess what? Guess what happens next weekend? That's right. Bay Network goes on his annual trip down the PCH. The Pacific Coast Highway, friends. And it's supposed to be like in the mid 80s when I leave, which sucks because that's when I love Seattle the best, but it's dope that it's not gonna be pissing rain when I go. And that's awesome. So, handful of things we gotta do. We gotta, um, we gotta try and put all of our gear together and make sure that we're packed well. We've made some, we've made some material changes this year, friends. We're going with a full-on riding pant. We're not doing overpants. Because I want to pack less things to wear underneath overpants and thus reduce my weight if I'm wearing the same pair of pants. Riding pants for two weeks. And uh, find a midpoint where I can wash them. This way I'll have like just a couple changes of clothes to pack in a, in a bag and then the rest can be like cameras and whatever emergency essentials I need. So I'm hoping that's the best way to go. We're going to try it out and just take the extra time to add and remove the liners to these pants as needed. So, that's a big change, because normally I just wear my trusty dusty overpants and call it a day. Uh, you'll notice we've augmented the handlebars a little bit. Make sure I can keep my eyes on the road and point my helmet down still. Somewhere over here, there it is. Right there is our uh, ram mount ball for hopefully the X grip for the navigation in the phone. And then on this side, we've hidden one for the uh, GoPro. Now I might have to change the orientation of what I hang on those depending on how the shot looks because I want to make sure I'm not like trying to record stuff and all you see is the brake reservoir with the sock on it. So we got power. We have a bung uh, that we're going to attach to that that has two USB power outlets which will be this house. And uh, then we have pretty much completely fucked up the front end of the bike. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in full tour mode. Then the bike, the bags will be on the rear. This guy is illegally lane splitting. I love it. Gonna give him a little wave anyway. Uh, what else? We've got to do the chain, friends. We recently had an oil change because of the maintenance schedule. Uh, we're talking three, four weeks ago, and I haven't put that many miles on the bike since then. So oil change, I'm good. With that, we put the Baby Fresh Pirelli Angel GT tires on there. And we have since scrubbed those in a fair amount. So, I'm ready, friends. I just got to get that chain in order. Make sure it is not stretched out too far from all my crazy, aggressive dank woolies. Just joking. And uh, what else do we got? We got to connect with Spencer. We got to make sure he doesn't need any maintenance things. Uh, we're going to do his oil change, for sure. And uh, try and do some mounting solutions with his luggage assortment and array and then Motovex GT is joining us again I'm pleased to announce and uh, right now his bike is under the knife again but he's augmenting uh, luggage options with his father right now I think so I asked him hey man this Saturday is where we're gonna like put some serious time in on the bike so if you need anything uh, you know holler at your boy and let's get it done because we have a garage so he is good to go um, and he's rolling solo on it so should be fine there. Uh, no bayonet pops this year. That is super unfortunate because this is kind of his and my annual trip. But bayonet pops has uh, a wealth of things to catch up on. Uh, shortly after the motorcycle accident last summer when we went a year ago, uh, he was in a car accident where he was rear-ended by a careless driver. Uh, thankfully, he was in an automobile, not a bike. And uh, it kind of did a number on his back. So he's been pushing all of his work stuff out for almost a full year and he's he just has too much to do so uh, that is kind of heartbreaking because um, we're gonna miss him dearly but um, we're gonna we're gonna press on friends we're gonna do the damn thing so I am starting to get stoked the stoked level is going up we've got a new camera we've got new riding pants we've got new riding boots um, if I have time doubtful I'm going to try and finish a gear review. The most asked question 
uh, by you guys is uh, so far has been, you know, uh, the most non-bike asked question so far is what kind of gear are you rocking? What do you have? And I want to do like a, a realistic view approach to it. Kind of give you guys uh, a breakdown on, on the stuff that I wear, why I wear it. Uh, I know that's going to be like a 20 minute vlog, so I'm not sure how to chop that up. But I did record, I recorded it twice and I just didn't like the way it was turning out. So um, we'll try and we'll try and do our best there, friends. Because these uh, Icon Field Armor 2 boots, I have finally shifted through the top of the boot. So I have like an exposed toe. So I had to trade those in and get new boots. Um, and we'll talk about that. So right now it's gorgeous out. It is Friday afternoon. I'm done with work right now. I've got all my chores done except for I gotta go to the grocery later. I'm getting excited to bring you guys along another adventure. We are still working through uh, recovering some footage on the Europe trip. I'm not sure how much I can use. Um, but we're going to try to put up maybe a part two, two of two. So we're looking into that and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just maintenance and sauce. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a good place to end. Um, the excitement is high. I can't wait to bring you guys with me and, uh, I hope everyone enjoys it. What is this guy doing? Why are you stopping? I'm just going to pass you, bro. I've had enough. I was against the law, but I give zero fucks right now. Yeah. So we're going to go home, and uh, we're going to start getting getting things ready. Oh, and the tank pads. i got to put the tank pads back on the bike. Back on. I have to install tank pads on the bike. Um, I, think, I think I will like the way they turn out, because I got the, the super gummy, nice, clear sticky ones so it shouldn't detract from the paint scheme and the graphics and stuff like that so anyway um adieu friends that's just a short one for me but um much love deuces uh we will talk again soon hey, time is always, always, i got no time to play no games with you hey, time is always, always. I got a ton of pain, I'm gonna see you